Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be looking at the Titan Solstice armor and like the Hunter one, I'm going to be showcasing the previous ones from previous uh, years and the current one. Now, I'm not going to put like a timestamp on the newest one because honestly, these are pretty simple. These are pretty fast. That's why I didn't do them for the Hunter. So before we start with the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that a high percentage of people that watch my videos are not subscribed according to my analytics so if you could do me a favor and subscribe hit that bell notification i would very much appreciate it if you like my content if you like just me in general that would really help me out so on with the video so now with that out of the way let's begin with the armor so this is year one destiny 2 armor from solstice year one obviously and honestly this was fire when it first came out i remember thinking dude this looks cool the only thing, if you guys know my channel, if you guys have just seen any of my other videos, you guys will know that I fucking hate colors that don't change color. I'll give you a great example. So the gold trim does not change color, unfortunately. You guys can see right there. Let's go with Metro Shift. You guys can see it does not change color. Very unfortunate, but at the time, it was cool looking enough where I was like, whatever, I guess I can like make do with it because we did have gold shaders back in the day. We had like the Kala Selected, Selected, I think. And then we had the one from Eververse. So I was like, ah, fuck yeah, I'll, I'll make it work. Uh, obviously now I, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I loathe it. So that's pretty much it for the year one. It's dope, I love it. And the Titans really got a good one from this. I think the helmet's like the weakest part, but other than that, it was fire obviously it looks exactly like the armor set that it was inspired by obviously but that changes with the new armor so let's go with the second year which i think was a dramatic change unfortunately i do not have the mark i do not know what happened to it i i guess i erased it by by accident but if you guys do want to see it i will show you guys right now uh i have it like in my collections but unfortunately it it was a random roll so i can't get it which fucking sucks because you know okay and it sucks because i think the mark looks really cool unfortunately again like the old season the gold the gold trim does not change color so for some reason if you're like oh i want to see how the old one looks that's it without the mark obviously but i think it was okay I definitely liked it a lot more than last year's or the year before because I think it just added a little bit more plus obviously the the ornaments dope as fuck I didn't mention in the, in the other one but yeah I only have well for this one I think I have all of the burns but for the old one I don't have all of one I think I'm missing void but I think this one was the coolest one I think it's a lot cooler than than the newest one aside from like maybe the helmet i think the helmet's the cool one so let's go to the new armor the new armor in my opinion is fire dog no no pun intended so if you guys can see right here you guys can see the horns i think that's the coolest part i wish i really wish that it was a little bit more pronounced like right now like you can barely see it but i like it my only gripe with it is that once you complete one of the objectives for the magnificent set the armor changes forever so like you guys can see right here the white is still there i you can't go back after after you upgrade one that's it it's over unless and this is i'm really hoping this is the case i really hope that the the faction armor oh, not faction armor i'm sorry but the the, these two are different so i'm hoping that the magnificent set is the one with the white glow and the majestic set is one without it if that's the case then i would be pretty happy because that means we can choose between no glow and glow but i just don't know from see like maybe i'm hoping because obviously when trans transmog comes in we can choose between those two so honestly for uh, 3,000 3, Bright Dust, was it worth it? In my opinion, probably not. Especially since it doesn't add a lot, to be quite honest. It is cool that we can basically just get one... We can buy one ornament to get all the burns. I love that. It's just that 3,000 
it's essentially 1,000 for each each of the what you call but we are getting stasis in the in the when the new expansion comes out they are giving us uh or we are going to have the ability to change the color to like a really dark blue so that's cool but yeah that's pretty much it i just wanted to showcase the armor real quick it's funny because i actually did this video before but the audio was really bad because it was picking my audio from my camera not from my mic so i was like that's fun i gotta do it again but yeah, let me know what you guys think titans let me know what you guys think about your armor i think it looks fire i love the boots right here i, I love that's probably the part that i was just like yo if the if the hunters got that i would be wild in because i love it it looks fucking cool i think the helmet is fucking gorgeous i do wish that the quill up here was a little bit more pronounced i think the arms are dope as hell and honestly this right here this regal chest i love it i love it to, to death I just wish it was a little bit bigger, like just a little bit bigger, not like maybe longer up here. So that way it can go a little bit higher or like up here. I don't know. Overall, I have not, not much too many. I don't have too many negative things to say about this armor aside from obviously the class item has gold trim. Uh, I don't like that just because obviously I don't like armor that does not change colors. This is great. This is such a big improvement from last year's and the year before that because there's no gold trim aside from the class item. This is great. This is exactly what I would love to see. To be quite honest, I would love to be able to actually pick and choose which color is in there. So let's say, let's say I like this gold trim, but I wanna have the Byzantium Lotus uh, purple. I would love to be able to choose like okay this is purple this is purple like this this big piece is purple this purple and this purple but then like give me but give me the gold right here i would have dude that's like the the end game for me like once we have that that's it it's over like transmog is gonna get so crazy like fashion and destiny 2 is gonna transcend into a new level so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, it's in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. And like always guys, a small percentage of people that view my videos are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor and subscribe, hit that bell notification. I really do appreciate it. Obviously only if you like my content and be safe guys, you know what's happening in the world. Just be happy and healthy and I will see you guys later.